Good morning, everybody. What is with California? You won't believe the latest in the bullet train saga. Here it is. Governor Jerry Brown wants to put aside all environmental rules and regulations and court challenges just for the bullet train, just to get the bullet train built. He is prepared to put aside legal challenges. He's circulating legislation. He's circulating to the environmental groups themselves, saying, we want to build the bullet train, no matter what, and we want you to put aside your legal challenges. In fact, we will stop you from challenging the bullet train unless you can show that the damage to you is greater than the good to society. Remember, please, they're getting billions of dollars coming in from the federal government. They are going to provide some jobs. That's a huge amount of good. That is a very high legal hurdle which the environmental groups would have to cross over. Very difficult. Will they accept this? I don't know. But the very fact that Jerry Brown says, cast aside environmental rules for this one project, that tells me a lot. It tells me that Governor Brown, I don't want to be too strong here, but Governor Brown is gung-ho for the bullet train no matter what, and I find that incredible. It would cost tens of billions of dollars, 68 billion to be precise, and that's today's number. Heaven knows it will go over above, a, uh, well above 100 billion dollars. So that's the cost. He's got to borrow $9 billion up front in a state which is broke, which has a $17 billion deficit. I mean, I'm getting sort of almost tongue-tied here because I simply can't believe what California is up to with the bullet train. There is, however, a glimmer of hope. The latest poll shows that Californians are turning against the bullet train, even as Governor Brown puts on the pressure to get it built. A majority of Californians in the poll have now turned against the bullet train. They don't want it. Big day. That's just part of it. See you in three hours.